my camera just is not good at this. I really need to get a better camera for nighttime. But there's fireflies everywhere. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to build habitat so you can attract fireflies to your property. Hi hey there, welcome back to the food forest. Today we're going to continue on some of my favorite type of videos which is attracting beneficial insects. We're going to talk about one that everybody loves today, that's fireflies. Why do you want them in your garden? What do they do for us? What do they need? And how can you build it? Stick around. <laughs> Did you know that there are 2,400 different species of fireflies in the world? 270 of them in North America. Fireflies are a very interesting garden friend because they spend two years of their life in the larval stage, crawling around the ground, eating soft-bellied insects. They're predatory in this stage. And then they spend two to three weeks in the actual firefly stage that we know and love them. Fireflies are a garden friend because of the larval stage. When they're in the larval stage, they eat a ton of garden pests, such as slugs, snails, and various larvae that lives in the ground. For example, Japanese beetles here are a big problem and they overwinter in the ground, but fireflies will actually eat their larvae. So if you have a particularly nasty pest in your garden or in your lawn, such as say lawn grubs, that are really nasty pests in the larva stage, creating habitat for fireflies can help reduce some of the pressure of that pest. Plus, who doesn't love watching fireflies flicker at night? Now did you know that this kind of habitat here is exactly what fireflies love to live in? Fireflies just love to disappear down right inside the wildflower. This is some habitat that fireflies just absolutely love. They love wildflowers, they love long grasses, they love to hide in the canopy, underneath the canopy of all of these flowers. And they love wood chips, and leaves. This entire patch of daisies was created by just finding a few in the fall, collecting seed and scattering them everywhere. And this all exists right underneath this service berry tree. Mm. So when the firefly is in its adult stage, it only has three weeks or so to find habitat to lay eggs and create a nest. And their favorite habitat is wet soaking leaves, rotten logs, and wood chips. One of the reasons why we probably have fireflies is because I constantly collect these leaf bags. I leave them out in order to actually decompose and turn into soil. And we also don't really mow our lawn that often. We'll mow some parts of our lawn, but we always like to leave some stuff long this is great habitat for snakes, but it's also great habitat for insects like fireflies. Now long grasses and wildflowers are also habitat for other insects like ticks. This is why we constantly do full body checks for ticks after I'm outside in the garden or in the food forest. Now here's a pile of leaves that I collected last year and we've been mixing it with our compost and our biochar and the fact that we have this stuff on our property is probably one of the big reasons why we actually have fireflies.
And this stuff will just turn into compost over time. Let me dig some of this stuff out. And you can see that it's just slowly turning into fantastic compost. And this is great habitat for fireflies. Even here in our annual garden, we actually mulch with leaves this year. And you can see that this is actually, as well, going to be great habitat for fireflies. Not only that, but leaves can actually tend to bring in some slugs. So having firefly habitat on your property can actually deal with slug issues and make sure that you get great, kind of flaw-free produce. Let's make a nutrient sandwich, shall we? Right next to that kale, we've got this wonderful patch of sorrel and strawberry. And this is just such a great lemony flavor, and I love to kind of wrap this up into a little sandwich and eat a little nutrient-packed lunch. Mmm. They're so fresh. And if you get a little dirt in your mouth, well, that's just a nice inoculation for your gut microbiome. Mm. So good. Also, consider letting some of your vegetation go to seed. This is some kale that we let go to seed so that I can spread it. And in here is perfect firefly habitat right down inside there. Plus, very shortly, this will all be great kale seed that I can save and spread. So if you can stand having less tidy gardens, keeping things nice and dense, you know, this whole entire patch of greens that we eat doubles as habitat for all kinds of insects. Not just pests, but also their predators, like dragonflies. Now you might not have known this, but fireflies are actually disappearing. The two main causes for why they're disappearing is that we've destroyed their habitat, which is wet forests, wet edge lands, and marshlands. And then we've also caused problems with their mating through light pollution. Fireflies used to have dense, uninterrupted forests to flicker all through the night and find each other. And now with house lights and car headlamps constantly driving by, it interferes with the fireflies' ability to find each other. So not only are we destroying their habitat, but we're also interfering with their love life. And that's just lame. So taking steps in this video to restore habitat on your own land goes a long way to actually helping the fireflies out. And it doesn't just help the fireflies, it helps any insect that has the same habitat that the fireflies like. And it brings balance to your ecosystem. Now there's also many plants that we can actually plant to attract fireflies. Not just fireflies, but also the insect that fireflies like. And this list is actually from Firefly Conservation Project over at firefly.org. Now many of these plants I've actually put onto my own property, not for the fireflies, just because I know that they're native wildflowers. So when in doubt, plant native wildflowers and you'll just accidentally do things like restore habitat for fireflies. Now of note, things that I've actually planted on my property that are also habitat for fireflies are asters, boneset, cardinal flower, uh, goldenrod, elders, burr oaks, but also frog fruit, frostweed, and hackberry work as well. I don't have those yet, but maybe I'll add them to my little spicy collection here. Lastly, two more tips if you want to get dragonflies. First is they're an insect. So you absolutely cannot spray insecticide on your lawn, in your gardens. If you do that, you're going to kill all the insects, including fireflies. And the second tip is that you should turn off your lights at night. The lights on our houses actually create light pollution for insects. And insects use light in order to procreate. So having lights on our streets and our houses and everywhere is really interfering with insects' ability to procreate. So turn those lights off at night, save some energy, save some money, 
save the insects, save the fireflies. So I tried to get some footage last night of the fireflies. I found a bunch of them, but my camera's not great in order to actually get night shots. Do you see it? Oh, it's not going to show up. Do you see it there? Right by the peach. Oh, it's not showing up. I need a better camera for night. Dark it shows right now. Looks like you can't see a foot in front of you, but it's actually it's actually remarkably bright still. It's almost a full moon. My camera just is not good at this. I really need to get a better camera for nighttime. But there's fireflies everywhere. So I'll leave you with the footage anyways. Maybe getting a new camera is something that I should look into. I've been turning down a lot of sponsorships for stuff like that uh, because I kind of want to keep my channel real and I don't really like getting stuff. But I think it might be time to kind of consider maybe doing something with a camera provider. So thanks for watching. Try to really promote creating habitat on your property. Even if you're just growing food, if you're doing a food forest, whatever you're doing. Even if you're just walking around parks, borrowing someone's leaf bag and dumping it under a tree can actually bring back the fireflies. Who knew? Thanks for watching. And if you like this content and want to see more, consider supporting us directly. Believe it or not, for a channel my size, even though I've actually grown it substantially, a small handful of members over on Patreon actually far exceeds the YouTube revenue. So. Thanks again to all my members, and if you want to join them, join the family, consider supporting us either in the YouTube membership, but even better, down on Patreon below. Thanks for watching.